Well, with the Memorial Day weekend set to kick off tomorrow, many will hit the roads for the long holiday weekend. Our Josh Peterson tonight takes a look at some tips to keep in mind when you're on the road. This weekend, more than 38 million Americans are expected to travel this Memorial Day weekend. That is the second highest Memorial Day travel volume on record and the most since 2005. For travelers around Minnesota, there are some key construction projects to look out for this weekend if you are traveling in central or southern Minnesota. For folks that are traveling down to the Twin Cities area, probably be aware that in St. Cloud, um, from Collegeville to just to Highway 23, uh, right through St. Cloud, there's a, it's reduced down to one lane. And so really that is going to slow things down, so to plan that uh, in your trip. Spurred by the lowest gas prices in more than a decade, about 700,000 more people will travel compared to last year. With that much of a significant increase, there will be extra law enforcement out to make sure everyone is safe and driving responsibly. There will be uh, extra patrols out between uh, um, here locally between the Sheriff's Office, Bemidji PD, Black Duck PD, and then also the Minnesota State Patrol. With more and more people hitting the roadways this weekend, one of the main things to keep in mind is to keep your eyes on the road. Speed and distracted driving are the two biggest contributors to crashes inside of work zones, so it's super important that uh, when you're driving through work zones, you got to have your cell phone down. you got to eliminate those distractions, really concentrate on what you're doing. Reduce the distractions, reduce your speed. Uh, uh, if we get inclement weather, which it may rain, you know, the, that's going to change things a little bit. So you want to increase your, your following distance. Give yourself that extra space. Drive defensively. Ultimately, being prepared and being responsible are your keys to having a fun and safe Memorial Day holiday weekend. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. And for those hitting the road, MnDOT says to use their 501 app to get the latest on construction projects, road conditions, and travel times. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.